Who says that the numbers have to be nice? We have z minus 4 and 2 thirds equals 2 and 2 thirds. And to solve a problem like this, um, I know we've been using, you know, one step problems, we've been using like pretty basics, right? And we even get the fractions, but then we use mixed numbers, it's like, why? Why do we have to? Well, it's important for you to understand that no matter what numbers I'm using, the properties of or the, you know, the steps for solving one step equations still remain the same. I look at my variable, I need to isolate it. I need to undo what is happening to my variable. So now I see the operation of subtract a four and two thirds. Now, if you don't like four and two thirds, there's a couple things you can do. Convert it to an improper fraction. Four to two thirds, right? Four times three is 12, 12 plus two is 14 thirds. So you can replace it to 14 thirds if you like. This problem though, it's, it'll be fine just to leave it as a mixed number. So now, since I'm subtracting 4 and 2 thirds, I'm going to add 4 and 2 thirds to both sides using the addition property of equality. Now what I notice is this goes to 0. So I have z plus 0 equals, when you're adding mixed numbers, you can simply just add. Um, add up your um, whole numbers. So I have 6 and then 2 thirds plus 2 thirds, 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is going to equal 4 thirds, which is actually an added another one. So now I'm actually going to have 7 and uh, 1 third. So then uh, z plus 0 is just z. So z equals 7 and 1 third. And there you go. That's how you solve when using even mixed numbers.